double tournament for the United States. And now they look for their third gold medal. Gilman out there for the U.S., Albania with Zilam Khan Abakarov. Now, Team USA has clinched the team title, but I can guarantee you Gilman is not satisfied. He wants this gold medal as bad as anybody. He's going to apply a lot of pressure. A nice arm throw attempt by the Albanian. He did not expose, but sometimes you see a correct throw called. It's getting white paddled. Looks like the table judge is calling for a conference with the refs. Yeah, they are going to stop it. This is not a challenge, but they want to make sure that all three are on the same page. So you see the referee and the judge make their way over to the Matt Chairman. That is the Matt Chairman with the red wristband facing our television camera. And he is making sure that he spotted what the judge and referee indicated. And he is going to make the decision of two here. Looks like they got the wrong color. Yeah, they stuck up the wrong card. It should be two on the Albanian's corner, Abakarov. There you go. They get it switched. Right call there and two given to Abakarov and a good start for Albania. Now we always talk about Gilman's pressure in his hand fight. Abakarov has studied him and he went for the arm throw right out the gates. This is going to be an exciting match. It's not ending 2-0, I can guarantee you that. Abakarov digs back in on the two-on-one. Gilman shoves it away. 60 seconds into this first period. Now a little nifty go behind by Abakarov. Grabs the right leg and he whips Gilman down. Two more and the Albanian off to a feisty start here, 4-0. Went for a lace, barks at the referee. Comes right back down on the lower half, still trying to hook up a lace. Gilman near the edge of the mat. And he is able to avoid any more danger. Now they're calling Gilman passive for grabbing the fingers on the bottom, trying to impede that ankle lace by Abakarov. He's going to go back down, give up a point and a caution. If you are going to grab the hands, you have to make sure you have all four fingers or a wrist. He only had a couple. That's what the refs saw. They made the call. Bakarov back on the lace. It's getting tight. Looks like he's about to cross the legs. Gilman doing a great job keeping his knees wide. A Bakarov working tirelessly here to try to get a turn. Gilman will not allow it. Tough parterre defense underneath. You don't, see that, you don't see that very often. You get the ankle lace, their, their ankles cross like that. Most of the time that bout is over. Gilman showing his freakish strength there and toughness and staying in the match. Five to zero though, he's gonna have to fight to, really hard to get back into this. Gilman shoots in a submarine attack as he goes low on the leg of a Bakarov trying to hop skip his way out of trouble. Gilman will usher him out for the point. So despite the caution in his quarter and the quick start by a Bakarov, Gilman something positive in this opening period. Yeah, and when you're used to your hand fighting and you get a little bit exposed with an arm throw and a nice go behind, it's, it's a little bit more scary, it's timid. Gilman is going straight back to his strengths. He's doing a good job getting back to the hand fight and shoots a nice single leg, looking for the takedown, but it settles for the push out. 30 seconds left, five to one. Short time wrestling, five seconds to go. And the first period will belong to Zilam Khan Abakarov, the longtime representative for Russia. Still unhappy with the referee as he goes into the corner, but boy, he came out ready to roll in a 5-0 lead before Gilman was able to get the step out point late in that first period. So let's go into the corners a little bit, Reese, and if you're Thomas Gilman down four, what do you expect to see, especially early in the second period? Stay in his face. Abakrov did amazing with his trickery, using Gilman's pressure against him two separate times. It worked, but like I've said previously in these broadcasts, 
the tricks run out. Stay with the solid actions, hand fight, single legs. That's what's going to win Gilman this match if he doesn't get tricked along the way. Beautiful shot there by Abakarov. Takes Gilman high up into the air. And Gilman gets out of bounds, but he gives up the two. And Abakarov, man, he came low on that outside shot, and he secured the takedown. For so many years when he was wearing the Russian wrestling uniform, Abakarov had the rivalry with Magomedrasol Idrizov. They battled back and forth, the two talented Russians in 18 and 19, and that's when he made the decision to wrestle for Albania. In control here in period two. Gilman will keep hunting. Heels. Facing the protection area for Abakarov. Trying to get back into the center. Gilman keeps shutting him off, and he will end up with the step out point. Matt Judge called for the step out and a caution in one. It was white paddled by both the other officials. All right, right off the whistle, Abakarov in on a low hit right above the ankle. Gilman trying to squeeze the waist here. See Abakarov try to improve the position with his height, but he has nowhere to go. Gilman squeezing too tightly. Stalemate halfway through, not quite halfway through this final period. Stopping, tugging at the singlet was the Albanian. Now Gilman off the whistle, shoots in, has the single. See if he tries to shelve this leg. Needs to try to get a big one here. He elevates it. And look at the balance by Abakarov. Holy smokes, impressive defense. What I've seen from Abakarov the whole entire match, not giving up pushouts, not giving up any point that he doesn't have to. Very stingy in his approach. He's ahead 7-2 with 40 seconds left. Zivlin Khan Abakarov. Matching some of the Gilman fire in this period. American keeps coming at him. Abakarov. Hand fighting. Gilman gets his right hand in there on a collar tie, switches to the left. Shoots for a leg, nothing to be found. Bakarov content to play defense now. And history for Albania for the first time in the country's history. They will have a world gold medalist. Zilam Khan of Bakarov, the 29-year-old, brings home the country's first world championship. Very solid match by Bakarov. Not giving up an easy push out ever. When Gilman was in on the leg, only giving up a step out. Albania wins gold at 57 kilos. He won the Mediterranean Games Championship.